a person would say that you and you'll see the blogs and shit like that. Who are, who who more gangster? Rara or Rara? Rara is really in front of the street for real. But Baba is just a internet gangster. The majority of motherfuckers on the internet will say Baba. And it's like all you would have to do is back up from the computer and say, I'm not I'm not going into this shit. But you understand that they've made it to where if you're not on here, you don't exist. Did you know that becoming a rapper is the number one cause of death amongst young black men? Have you ever wondered why the incarceration and murder of rappers is so accepted and somewhat celebrated amongst today's society? Today we're going to explore an example of this phenomenon. Welcome to The Rap Trap, hosted by Ayo Conseco. Welcome back to the Rap Trap. I am Ayo Canseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation and the Men Too Movement. And this is in hindsight. Um, as you know, um, pause for a cause, um, aka the doghouse, um, the, the dog fostering program, nonprofit uh, program. Um, that I'm starting up is taking up temporarily is taking up this space um, on my rap trap set. So we're gonna have the broadcast on the Big Face podcast set for a short while until my um, carpenter man um, is able to finish up this small job. Um, so bear with me. Um, we won't be here long. Because if we take too long, I'm going to do this shit my damn self. Shit was actually supposed to have been done. Alright. Um, I have a suit on. I'm learning that When you leave the street and you're trying, not just, you know what I'm saying, you're not just being a normal person. You don't stop. You don't stop after you. We're talking about Jay Prince and the whole, you know what I'm saying, bullshit. I'm learning that in my life, I had to go to City Hall. Um, I've been all around the world. I've been, um, I don't want to get my lawyer's name out. Um, I had to speak with him today. I had to put some money down. Um, on pushing forward some paperwork that is needed to use a loophole for this legal situation that has to really has to do not only with the men to movement but with the pause for a cause um, the big face podcast mixtape even um, we're talking about me doing business within this st Alabama's limit, the state limits. Um, these people are giving me to run around. Um, I've made a, I, I, I've, I've reached out, and this is why this, this is going to go on a Big Facts podcast also. What do we want? Equality. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Help. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Equality. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Help. When do we want it? Now. I'm not a picket sign type nigga, but come August, it's going down, dog. Um, if you want to be part of the Men Too Movement and the Men Too Movement group that goes to D.C. in August, you have to be part of the Men Too Movement, meaning that you sign the Men Too Petition on change.org, that you have your Men Too shirt, and you've been personally vetted by me. Nobody will know the time that we're going to meet up and all that shit like that. I'm going to say all that shit behind the scenes, so you have to come through me. If you're trying to get in touch with me, there's been a lot of bullshit going around there, a lot of Ayo Canseco accounts on Facebook, um, 
So this is the AO Conseco account that you're supposed to go to. This is the thumbnail. This is the Tobin Frost account. And this is the Instagram account. So there's no more, you know what I'm saying? Uh, fuck up, no more mix up. Um, to get your men two shirts, you go to paypal.me forward slash are you serious 10. Uh, the men two shirts are $20. Every other shirt is 15. All headwear is 10. This shirt is not available yet. It won't be available till the end of March. And only AO Nation members will be able to purchase it, meaning that you already purchased, you know what I'm saying, your whatever shirt. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta, we look at your PayPal. If you ain't bought nothing yet, you can't get the shirt. I don't want everybody to have my face on them. Um, of course, you know, for all the new folks, the PayPal that you buy your merchandise from is not the PayPal that you donate to. That PayPal is on the screen at least three times an episode. It's paypal.me forward slash Aaron337. This is the PayPal that you donate to if you want your um, PayPal note read during uh, the AO Nation donation conversation that we have every third Sunday. Um, you can also donate to the Cash App and the Venmo. All that shit's in the description box. Listen, for all of you new business people and shit like that, do not send nothing to my inbox. Like, you a rapper, you a clothing line, don't tag me. Dog, don't say my name unless you're ready to do business. I'm extremely fucking busy. If you got a story over here and all that shit like that, but don't bring me to your brand if you're not ready to do business. I'm too busy, dog. period, point blank. No disrespect, but this is how this shit go on this end. Prices start at $200, they go up to $2,000, all good. Also, listen, this is not my only channel. The Big Face Podcast is the first channel, The Rap Trap is the second channel, and Stupid Rappers is the third channel. All those channels got different fucking content. The videos that go on one channel don't go on the other one, usually. All of them had their own fucking content. So if you're not subscribed, please learn how to work YouTube and subscribe and hit the notification bell on all channels. Get your shit together, big homie. What do we want? Help. I've, I've made the statement. I've said, hey, if you're a lawyer, reach out to me. Um, because as I was saying, when you're coming from the underworld, and you don't want to stop with just being a law-abiding citizen, going to work every day, just being another fucking sheep. You're trying to do something extraordinary, not ordinary, extraordinary. I, I never understood why the fuck the fuck did they get lazy making up a word? Extraordinary. But it means the exact opposite, extraordinary. Non-ordinary seems like that would be the word, but I don't want to be ordinary. I want to be extraordinary. I bet they have hell explaining that to the people, the foreigners and shit like that. After you have grasped a little bit of the English language and they've told you what extra means. You don't want to stop at being an average person now that you've come out of the underworld. Let, let's say for me, me uh, for example, you've come up out the prison system. Now you want to do something about it. And this is what the COs, the wardens, and the corrupt, the corrupt judges and the bullshit ass legal system that we have going on. All the corrupt people inside of it that misuse their power and snarl and, and fuck over people. Because they're reading them, reading them saying, all right, I can look at him and tell that he doesn't have any real fucking resources so I can do him any kind of way I want to. The same way when you get pulled over and a police officer sees you in a fucked up ass car, you know what I'm saying? You're not well kept. You know what I'm saying? Raggedy, everything. They can just tell that you broke as fuck. They can do you how, however the fuck they want to do you because they know, for one, you can turn off your body cam, whatever the fuck. But... Even if they didn't turn it off, as long as they don't kill you or some shit like that, like, they shit is what they say. That's what happened. Whatever they say, that's exactly what happened. No one's 
they know that you're not gonna go down there and, and complain, you know what I'm saying? To the and even if you do go out go down to the police department and try to complain, they gonna give you the fucking run around. They gonna make it so hard for you to even try to, you know what I'm saying, do anything. Like fuck this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like this nigga get your, he'll have you hot as fuck, call you nigga, whatever the fuck. Hey, you so fucking hot, but you won't he knows that you're not gonna follow through with what needs to be done for him to lose his job. Or even for a spotlight to be brought upon this bullshit that's going on. They count on that shit. You're not gonna follow through with what needs to happen. If you wanna go for a lawsuit, you gotta have money for the fucking lawsuit. Get a lawyer, and, and if you're connected, like if you're Kim Kardashian, then they're gonna treat you as if whatever they do and say is on camera already. Because she has power. She has connections. That's what type of stereotyping is going on. That's what type of profile is going on. Does this person have the power to make me face consequences for what I do to him? No? Okay, fuck. I, man, what? Fucking nigger. What you gonna do about it? Then what? You gonna punch the nigger? Assaulting the police officer. I was I was just telling I was just telling uh, Mr. Lewis to uh, roll down his window and uh, step out of the vehicle because I smell marijuana and not sure what happened. He just fucking he just punched me. Excuse me, Judge, but he just punched me in the face for no reason. And that shit is gonna stick because Mr. Lewis is nothing but a fucking criminal. Look at his fucking record. Look at his face. Obviously, he's fucking guilty of whatever he's been uh, being accused of. I see as I'm trying to deal and do things that will make change to this unbearably unjust system that we currently are dealing with. I now fully comprehend why people don't go the distance the endless rigmarole or bullshit loop de loop go here call this number all right I, I went there I called this number and they sent me back to you okay well go here and call this number okay I went there and called this number I'm I'm maybe I need to ask tell you again Shut the fuck up. What the, I didn't even say shit to the phone. They give you so much bullshit because they're trying to make sure that you don't but that's, that's what this fight is all about and that's why it's so important that's why y'all are so important because it's like I know there's a legal way of doing it, and I understand that I have to do that if I want this thing to really stick so I'm just not someone with a sign or someone with dogs or someone just, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not going to allow you to get me on no IRS bullshit because I understand since I do have a righteous cause, there are going to be many, many, many fucking attempts to stop me in any which way they can, so I must... Make sure that my back is covered. I have to. It's nothing but a pin swipe for them to destroy, you know what I'm saying, a person. But because I understand, pretty much understand, not fully. That's why I need, If, if once again, I make the call. Hey, if you're a lawyer who believes in my cause, please contact me. They're fucking me over. Please contact me. Please, I, I tell everyone in the Me and Two movement and everyone who follows me and supports me, please don't mistake um, my frustration with failure. Everything is still on. What I'm talking about right now is me trying to protect myself. With the same paperwork that these motherfuckers protect themselves with. 
Cause I understand in August, I'm it's on. So I don't have that much time to make sure that once I get there, nobody's gonna be throwing no dope on me. Nobody's gonna be throwing no gun on me. I'm right now working on doing what I need to do to where I have authority to the people who are gonna be in the Men Too movement with me in August. All of them are going to be ran through, you know, NCIC. We checking all the background, everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to have no fucking. I, I don't want to say I'm not going to have a double agent around me because that would be extremely naive of me to say as if the CIA can't just put somebody in a position to be that. But I can. Here's the bottom line. I can tell by the resistance I'm being faced with that what I'm doing is definitely shaking some shit. Believe me. I can't speak of it all here, but shit is getting shook up. And that really is motivating me to continue because these motherfuckers are, you know what I'm saying? Like they've never heard anything like this. These are just ideas that I came up with and I don't have, and I, this is why I am so serious about the three S's and I'm so serious about black men allowing their minds to work as it's supposed to work. You can get anything done. Once you don't have anything in front of you to trip you up, my nigga, the sky's the limit. There's nothing that can hold me back. I can start as many companies as I want to. I can do, I, I can, dog, there's so many things that you can do. I'm looking and seeing how these people have structured their businesses. How these people have went to banks and walked out with, you know what I'm saying? I understand that I won't be able to do, you know what I'm saying, because of, but you better believe that when I bring a case to the table, I'm going to put whatever bank, whatever legislator, whatever lawmaker, I'm going to put their back against the wall to where you're going to have to blatantly be a fucking racist in order to deny what it is I'm proposing. Because I'm not just coming with me. I'm coming with me, AO Nation, uh, the conversation with me, the More Sense Nation, uh, was that, um, Wagon Nation. Shout out to my nigga Glock, um, and Biloxi. Shout out to Glock Fight and, uh, Biloxi and shit like that. Dog, we have a very strong team here, and we are going to be, you know what I'm saying, this shit is going to be infamous, they going to know that we were here, period, point blank, but I still, like I said, um, I, I, I want a lawyer on my team, and I need, I need a lawyer to correspond with, uh, that I know is on my side, that believes in what's going on with me, of course, I'll vet the, you know, the, the, um, the lawyer and everything like that, you know what I'm saying, to make sure he's not, um, there to sabotage what's going on, but I, I, you know, I'll be able to tell that. Um, so, um, listen, I don't have no, I don't have no, um, complaints. Y'all donate, y'all buy the merchandise, y'all, uh, every video, I don't have any fucking complaints here. And, and if you notice, I can no longer do the, um, AO Nation donation conversation and shit like that. Crazy shit, though, most of y'all who donated didn't want to be shouted out, and that is so fucking real to me. When y'all donate, y'all don't donate to be seen or heard. It's because you believe in what the fuck I'm pushing. And it's that right there. When y'all get in my inbox, I believe in the message. Ah, ah, ah. Keep going, keep pushing. Y'all don't just say it with words. Y'all actually reach in y'all pocket and make, hey man, what else do you need to get moving? Shout out to my nigga, Bobby. Dog, if y'all do not know my nigga Bobby King Green, the UFC fighter, 
please get motherfucking aware of this motherfucker's like existence and shit like that. I salute you, my nigga. Um, there are famous people, man. Uh, what's my Chingy? Chingy, Chingy, like the fucking rapper. Show love, donates. Um, what's the other month? I, I probably shouldn't start saying names and shit like that because I understand that, you know, motherfuckers. But listen, I'm nothing. I'm I'm a, I'm a tool, and I believe that I'm supposed to be fixing some shit. So I'm gonna do just that. Um, I'm sorry for that long introduction, but I just have to, you know, let y'all know what's going on in real life. Um, with this J Prince situation, as you can see, um, he let it be known how he felt about the situation. Uh, point blank period. Um, Let me talk to you, my nigga J Prince. It, it, it really ain't shit to say. J Prince got caught up in the fucking rap trap. It is what it is. Like, obviously, J Prince wouldn't move like that. J Prince don't move like that. You know what I'm saying? J Prince don't fucking, uh, I'm, I'm gonna go online and goddamn flex on some niggas. No. That nigga is, he's always done it. Like, he's always got shit handled. You don't get that type of respect from this plan and shit like that. So, but just like Sauce Walker, Today's way of communicating and today's way of bolstering and posturing is today's way of doing it. And me and my nigga uh, was talking about this earlier about transitioning a prison nigga on the internet. It's like, it's just like anything else, dog. Like, when you see old people on t touch screens, they got to put their glasses on. What, what that word is? You know what I'm saying? Imagine one of them old niggas trying to beef the way we beef in 2019. You know what I'm saying? It's like, Grandpa, you can't go, um, you can't go just fight the motherfucker or whatever like that. Um, the way you talk shit nowadays and the way you let a motherfucker know that you ain't nothing to fuck with is by going online and making a post. You hear you talking about that don't make no damn shit. Why the hell I'm going to go online and go to that motherfucker house? Grandpa, you can't go to nobody's house like that. You know, you don't want to go to jail. I ain't scared to go to no damn jail. But if you go over there, you're going to look like you're going to look like you lost. How the hell I'm look like I lost? I'm gonna go to this motherfucking house and knock this motherfucking teeth out. Grandpa, if you, nobody's gonna, like, if you want to get the response for everybody to know that you not, ain't nothing to play, because if he did it, it you gonna have other folks trying to do it too. Like, this how you need to do it. Make a post and, just, and put some emojis in there. Use this fire emoji and use the emoji that means you mad. See that, that face right there? That's a mad emoji. Do that, and then ain't nobody gonna fuck with you. Like, no, they gonna know that you a real gangster. I don't know about that, but let me see what that is. You motherfucker got me fucked. You know what I'm saying? It's just it, shit like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you trying to beef on, like, and it's like, dog. This is, like, this is what happens. It's like, if you want to be a part of this rap circus, you have to play by the rap circus's rules today. You know what I'm saying? But you don't, though. You know what I'm saying? Really, it would have been better for him to just, obviously, you know what I'm saying, make the call, whatever like that. But it wasn't really a shit to make a call about for real. It wasn't because he wasn't just trying to get the chain back. You can just buy another chain, whatever the fuck. He wasn't trying to buy the chain back. He was trying to take the respect of some niggas that took the respect of somebody that he calls his artist. But I don't understand how you call this nigga your artist. And then just, you look, and that's why you never want to co-sign a fuck nigga. This nigga has been, as I showed in my other video, he, they jumping niggas. He all in, hey, hey. 
They jumping niggas, he all in the back, throwing in little sucker punches and kicking and running away and shit like that. Like, maybe you did holler at him behind closed doors and shit like that or whatever, but you had to know that there was going to be some retaliation behind that. All it is is you were trying to save face. And the, the way that you thought of the best way to save face is by publicly, the same way they publicly fucked him over, you publicly fucked them over and shit like that. And of course, yeah, they they, they went online, they made a rap video, and they, and they were actually trying to get clout off of a rap nigga and shit like that. Pure point blank, that's exactly what they were doing, but that is what we do nowadays. Nowadays, what we do is record our crimes, and when we get caught, we say somebody snitched on us. That's how we that's how we rock nowadays. And you have a choice. You can either stay away from this game altogether because yes, if you have an artist in this game, you're in this shit. You'll ne but the thing is, you'll never see the CEO of Universal, CEO of Atlantic, or any of these, you know what I'm saying, major labels defend one of their artists from getting robbed. If anything, they will be the one setting up their artists to get killed, robbed, or sent to prison because they know that boost sales. Good, bad, or indifferent, get in the news. I don't give a fuck. We need record sales. So it's good for business, whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? His face don't represent your face unless, like I said... What what's going on behind the scenes? J Prince fuck with you know what I'm saying? Uh, whatever the fuck fuck with YBN, mama. But I don't understand. I don't understand. Is YBN the mirror? Is the whole YBN signed to rap a lot? Like I don't understand what's going on here. Cause I didn't I didn't know that YBN the mirror was signed to rap a lot. I, I I this is my first time hearing about it. I don't follow the nigga, but this is my first time hearing about it. But we don't see. The record execs that are on the golf course, they don't come down off their perch or out of their, their seat in the, there in the audience just eating popcorn, throwing peanuts into the ring, just making the fucking Mandingos fight harder for entertainment. They don't, they don't, they just watch it. They'll never put their face out there, period. Let alone put their neck on the line for they they these motherfuckers barely pay bonds. Unless you're Cardi B, Atlant dog. Unless you're Cardi B, Atlantic is not gonna show their face. They may send someone down there, but if Cardi B goes to jail, the CEO of Atlantic will go down there and make sure everyone sees I'm paying her bond because we believe in Cardi B and we know that she's innocent. Let me say something else too. Um, shout out to my man um, Ace Boogie um, about this Michael Jackson situation. This is totally random. Um, the reason why you saw Oprah standing on the other side and not defending Michael Jackson when we obviously they 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 were connection and all this shit like this is because she owed a favor. To the machine. And the machine is just a offshoot or just a, a, a short walk from the golf course. The machine is lifetime and, and, and all these other bullshit VH1. Believe VH1 is definitely a part of all this, that the machine. Anything that would destroy it, every record label, you know what I'm saying? That's part of the machine. So after. After you leave the golf course, like the money goes to the machine, and the machine is what keeps us, just keeps us running, and you know what I'm saying, and fucking us up. It's crazy. The machine crushes us and fucks us up, but we are the coal that keeps this fucking machine going. It's fucking retarded. You know what I'm saying? They have to keep the machine going, but the only thing that can power this destructive machine. Is us. We are the coal. We just. We're paying for our own demise. 
You know what I'm saying? That it, it's hard to do this shit. That's how that's juggling shit. It's hard to do. But that's how that shit goes. But the reason why is because Oprah owed a favor to the machine. The machine said because Oprah's father had a sex case back in the day. Um, was it on? A, I don't know if it was on a child or a, a woman of age. I think it was at a daycare or some shit like that. And that shit was, and she needed that shit to go away and be, you know what I'm saying, get that shit the fuck out of the media. The media is part of the machine. Um, what do you call that shit? National media is part of the machine. That's where you see Gloria King, I mean Gloria King, Gail King, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. This destroy, destroy the black man. So VH1, any, any channel, most, most everything you see on TV is part of the machine. Destroy the black man. Destroy the black man. The black women do it without even knowing it. They, they're destroying themselves by continuing the stereotype of black women. Ghetto, extremely insecure, and you show that you're insecure by making sure that nothing on you is natural. Not your face, not your hair, not your fingernails, nothing. You know what I'm saying? If a man walked out of the house out the house with a paper bag over his head, we would assume that he is very insecure about the way he looks. How is this not a bag over your head when your face is covered, your eyes are covered, your head is covered? The only thing that you will show is your titties and ass. He had a sex case and and or they did her a favor by extinguishing that before it got anywhere. That was back in the day. Back in the day. You go online, you can barely find it. Fast forward. Now they have a need for a influential black person. Woman at that. I need a woman. To say, um, sexual, because you always need a woman for a sexual assault, or we don't care about it. If a woman didn't get sexually assaulted, ah, it's bullshit. So you get an influential black woman to denounce Michael Jackson. Now it feels all the more real. So those black people who are on the fence, oh, it must be real now. They said, I heard that um, as the father of the girl that got peed on, as he testified that that was not his daughter in the video, he was crying. So as he's saying it, he's crying. So we know what that is. You're watching the video of your daughter getting pissed on, but you say, no, that's not my daughter. That's not my daughter. You know what I mean? So obviously he was paid off and, and he's crying about how how grotesque of a person he is to where his whole being could be bought. Who's not a slave? Who is not a slave? I'm not going there. So we know that for money, favors, and relationships, we know that you will do what you don't want to do. As much as you want to stand up and say, you bullshitting ass motherfuckers, y'all done already said that you fucking did this shit for money. How the fuck can you come back and say, no, we didn't do it for money? After you said you did it for fucking money. On that Michael Jackson shit. And it's and it's just bullshit. But that's that's why that happened. That's why you saw Oprah on that. And he told me I should um speak on that. But um that that's that that was totally random. But this is where we're at. Um as far as it goes, when you have
I can tell you about, I'll tell you about that another time about when when you're a real, when you really have real power and you've exercised that power in the past before. As a real street nigga, I'm, I'm going to speak for everyone you see on YouTube and rappers in the game and shit like that who are actually real street niggas. When you come into this game and shit like that, you already you're, you're confused about it. You've seen it and shit like that, but you have you you're, you're still kind of confused and shit. Once you realize that in order to be successful, you cannot handle issues in the same fashion that you should. It fucks you up because the niggas who are posing to be you. are better at it than you. You know what I'm saying? So the niggas who are playing gangster because they know how to work the internet, a person would say that, you, you'll you see the blogs and shit like that. Who are, who, who more gangster? Rai or Rai Rai? Rai Rai is really in front of the street for real, but Bye Bye is just a internet gangster. The majority of motherfuckers on the internet will say bye-bye. And it's like, all you would have to do is back up from the computer and say, I'm not, I'm not going into this shit. But you understand that they've made it to where if you're not on here, you don't exist. If you're not on here, you don't exist. We didn't see how we were being trapped when the internet was invented. The internet is a house. It is it's, it's a country. It's a country where we all live. And the rap industry is just a state inside of that country. And the state of hip hop, the state of rap music is where people come from miles around to see black men being this the misery of black men in so many ways and you can just watch and watch and even better we have what do you call the motherfuckers that were on horses back in the day the slave the slave uh, dudes that were on the horses and shit. Overseers. You have overseers roving and, and roaming the perimeter of the rap uh, the rap game state. Um, we'll call it Raponia. You have overseers circling the perimeter of Raponia making sure that if you get out they take everything from you. Give me this shit back. The only reason we gave you shit, this shit, is so you can goddamn kill somebody with it. Give this shit back. Give this shit back. So when you leave Rapponia, you're just a broken man. You're not leaving with this shit. We're taking all that shit. Just like gladiators. But there are people who are on the the, the the outskirts that are making sure that people pay that the 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 um you know the the quiet the quiet listeners that they making sure that they pay to watch the melee so when you got the people on the golf course and stuff like that like you know what I'm saying this is why this is how the money is circulated everybody who wants to watch us destroy each other you gotta pay to come in and just watch and oh look at that shit. He just went to jail watching us cry. Like didn't he know that like didn't he know that he was gonna die when he went into the rap on you? The fuck, this is where this is where black men go to die. What the fuck is wrong with him? So he put it on this so and that's how they justify them watching this shit. It's like he knew that he was gonna die or get fucked up when he went into this motherfucker. Cause at at the center of rap on you, there's a, um, there's a, there's a, a golden apple 
hanging over Raponia. And the whole point of coming here and coming in here is to go get the golden apple. You have broken ladders everywhere, uh, motherfucking helicopters, airplanes, uh, rocket launchers and shit like that. The record label, you get a deal, and it's like the record label is saying, okay, we'll sign, you seem to be a warrior, we'll sign and give you a rocket launcher. We'll sign and give you a, a M4 Carbon. We'll sign you and give you a um, Javelin. You know what I'm saying? They're giving you weapons to destroy the other people from getting the apple. That's what your job is. In video about that shit, like this to explain the whole thing and illustrate it. If you're a graphic designer or uh, an animator, make sure you holler at me too, because I do want to start illustrating some of these, you know, theories I have and shit like that. But bottom line is, the best thing to do with that rap shit right now is the same shit I'm telling you to do um, with the three S's. For right now, what you need to be doing is just focusing on you and don't fuck around in this gangster rap shit right now. Don't fuck around in this gangster rap shit in the parameters that they are working, which means you need to designate that you're not what that is. Let it be known that you're not what that is. Because it's not safe right now. So I would, my advice is raise your hand and say that you're not with that shit. If you, if, because if you come in on the gorilla gorilla shit, you're going in that gladiator pen. Whether you know it or not, you're in there. Because now, when you go to South by Southwest, oh, that nigga that was talking that goddamn flu shit. Oh, that, that nigga that was talking that crib shit. That, that nigga talking that GD shit. What up, bro? Everybody high? Nigga just trying to get strikes off of anybody. It don't matter who the fuck it is. And if you was on that motherfucker whooping like that, you finna have to defend it or your career is over right there. This is what... But y'all understand. As far as um, Jay Prince, his only issue here is even involving himself with a fuck nigga like YBN in the first place. Um, even if your sons get into it with somebody, you shouldn't have anything to do with that. You passed that, big home. This is the Rap Trap. I'm El Conseco. Y'all make sure you hit the um, PayPal and shit like that. I'll see y'all in a minute. Love. And we will be talking about the, uh, the niggas who got arrested also.